On today's episode of Watch Jergo, it's time to go buy a car. So we're in the F-250, we got the trailer hooked up, and it's time for a road trip with a car full of dudes. It's, it's an iffy road trip, honestly. Yeah, yeah. At least there's good distance between us and the back. Yeah, the, that's why I bought this truck. When we wanted to do this, we got unlimited room. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jargo and today we are here picking up Kyle. What's up, Hello. Kyle? Hello. Oh, looks like you even brought the money. We'll I call bring money. That's a voided check. That's a <laughs> Kyle is the financier of this operation. He owns a bank. <laughs> He's just writing checks. Alright, let's go see this car. What is what year is it? 69. 69 Cadillac. Hoovy will appreciate this already. <laughs> I don't even need to know anymore. I have a six inch on my GMC and that's, Holy crap. that's bigger. I mean, you figure he is running like the 37 inch Toyos <laughs> and that exhaust is like a quarter of a tire. But he's a boss. Yeah, he's Oh no, yeah, he's boss 101. <laughs> yeah, but he's just boss 101. It's not even good. It's not even 102. He didn't make it yeah. out of first class. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's a that's a 10 inch pipe. That is not. All right, Kyle, we are here in your 69 cat of maybe it's not his yet. Oh uh, yeah, test drive one. He's got his uh, large shifter, which we really don't know what that is. Know, it's just a big, big a, hole. It honestly looks shiftery. All right, with this monster, you got a little speedo bounce over there. He's we don't need. We don't need to know how fast we're going. We don't need to know. How, it's honestly. It's a, little, it's a low rider. We're gonna go. We're gonna be low and slow. Yep. We're not trying to win races. Got an original air. You know, he said there was aftermarket speakers in it though, so there might be something in the glove box. Oh, you know what? That is a radio. Where does that go? There must be another radio. There's a 30 pin, there's an aux cable, there's a USB. A phone, I'm guessing. He must have something hidden in this car that we don't yeah. know about. He said there was aftermarket speakers in it. All right. We've got power windows, they work great. This thing looks amazing. I will show you guys in just a moment, but we jumped right in to take this thing out for a test drive. It's on uh, Ride Tech air suspension, and it's a good Ride Tech system with the Fox shocks. I, I didn't tell you. Dual compressor, the Fox shocks. It's probably a $10,000 air ride setup, man. Nice. And we've got presets right here. We can see all of our pressures. 135 in the front, 128 in the other front, 70s in the rears, and it's just nice. Honestly, it's pretty well done. This is a cool car, man. Dude, this is pretty slick. I'm glad we drove down and saw it. You don't get too many of these around this area. You don't. So. Especially that aren't rusted out. Oh, yeah. So, and you know, this guy said there was rust in it. And it sounds like they did a super job on fixing it. We have looked over everything underneath this car and we don't see any rust. The exhaust is brand new all the way to the back. It's got the big block in it, the 472. Hit it. Trans isn't slipping. Oh, what a nice one too. Wow. This thing is solid. Oh, it sounds good too. How's it look with the front end a little lower? <laughs> Little, it hunts around on the road? Yeah. I bet. It's probably a steering box. This thing is an antique. Probably worn out, but hey, that's just what you deal with on a car this old. What, what's the rest of your thoughts, Kyle? Man, you know, for what I'm trying to do in it, man, and just have kind of like a Sunday grocery getter, yep. it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Like, you know, I just want to, I just want to have something to cruise every so often. You like this matte black candy top? I do. I do All like right. that a lot. I he said it. that he had a like this is the original like like leather seats in it or whatever. Yep. He said he had he had just purchased like some like Mexican blankets to put over them. Oh, that cool. Match all the color that he said he'd throw into the deal. Nice. This is not the road for this car. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out a place to turn around. Yeah, you got to turn around a full boat. Those straps should sure loosened up quick. This thing weighs a ton. Anyway, we got this monster all loaded up. We aired it back out a little bit so it's not sitting with all the pressure in it on this trip home. How happy are you with your purchase? Pretty happy, man. You want to tell the people what you paid for? Sure. Yeah, I paid 
thousand dollars and we all looked at it for a long time we think it was a solid deal it does have new suspension bushings it's on ride tech's fox suspension air shocks the ride tech air management system this beautiful paint the paint's incredible some nice pinstriping all right we're at cattleman's we're gonna eat lunch real fast we hit up old aar ask him to come join but he's already eating so uh, i guess it's time for us to eat head back get this thing off the trailer and go drive it wouldn't you know it so here we are at lunch and uh kyle's got one of these horse bridle things for a shifter don't judge me i'm not a horse guy i've never uh never really dealt with them we're over here walking into cattleman's to eat lunch and lo and behold look what the door handles are wild oh, that door over there yeah man there's so many of them they got four they got of, them. of them there must have been one huge like oklahoma swap meet there was <laughs> Every, like a hundred of them everybody just had these yeah, this is just a big, this is just an Oklahoma thing. <laughs> That's just how you shift. We just put shift knobs on everything around here. <laughs> And we're back with this giant land yacht. Check it out, the 69 Coupe de Ville that is absolutely covered in dirt. So, first order of business, we're gonna get it next door, give it a quick rinse and wipe down so we can get all this dirt that's just kind of sitting on the thing off of it. But I wanna take you guys on a quick walk around. If we start in the back, it's probably the most beautiful section of these Cadillacs here. Uh, epic fins that just come to this nice point and make the tail lights. They're just, it's all beautiful. You can see all of these design elements kind of transition from the tail lights up to the back glass. And the glass line continues down the center of the roof. It all really works together. Even the, the trunk, it all fits together. Hey, where are the keys at in the ignition? Let's open this trunk up. It's the remix to ignition. Yeah, we didn't put a kitchen in here, so it can't be hot. <laughs> I don't know, it might have no. a kitchen. It, it might have a kitchen. <laughs> yep. So we've got this rooster pinstriping back here. And then in the trunk, you can see all of the original chrome is hanging out in here. And we have the Ride Tech AirPod system, which is a lot of the air management, dual compressor, all the solenoids hide back here. It is all run in uh, plastic lines instead of hard lines or anything like that. But hey, at least the system works. And the cool part is it's very repairable when it's in those plastic lines. You just pop them off, pop in some new ones, keep right on going. The one thing I noticed that's weird is I think this is supposed to be the trunk strut. It is. I think that's supposed to have a cable release that doesn't work. So it does have aftermarket speakers. This has a uh, late model head unit, one of the knockoff head units that hides a digital display behind the faceplate and uh, actually has a lot of modern features. So okay. trunk shuts. 595 five, Evo is what these tires are, it looks like. And it's sitting on these big uh, 22 inch solid steelies here with some caps that need polished up, the center caps there. Let's open the hood up, Keep checking this thing out. Interior also pretty awesome on this thing, other than the uh, poly coming off the wood and the leather obviously coming apart. But hey, this thing is uh, your weekend cruiser. It's no Concord car. It's just all style. And the wiper controls are right here in the door with a washer button. We've got light controls, climate right here. Very cool, it has old school auto climate control and you can dial in the temperature in 1969. Big speedometer clock over here. Here's that digital radio hiding off to the side. And here is that hilarious shifter. Straight off of a horse right there. Aftermarket speakers all the way through. I showed you guys the ride tech control unit and the back and everything like that. Front seats have been re-wrapped with some vinyl. They feel very different than those back seats that are uh, still the original leather. Still very comfy though. Still very comfy. It's a very comfortable car. Best thing about this car, the first thing I checked is the doors open and close perfectly and there's no sag when they come off of the latches. Look at this. Not even a hint of sag. So that is awesome. Usually those doors are completely worn out and somehow on this, it's in great shape. There's a, a tent strip across the windshield. Help you look cool, keep cool. And of course I showed you guys these, uh, obviously, like the Harley Davidson cheap headlights there. Uh, it works though. On this car, it works. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> this hood is gigantic. Mm -hmm. Woo! What a monster. Anyway, under the monster hood, we can find that 472 big block, a battery that needs to be replaced immediately. The battery is completely shot. So that's on today's to-do list, I think. 
And for some reason, whenever it's running, the AC clutch sits there and just randomly kicks on every once in a while, even though the air is off. HEI distributor has been put on it as an upgrade. The seller said that the 405 Street Outlaws guys tuned this. I mean, it's like a two barrel carb and it barely runs. So I don't, I don't think that happened. <laughs> I feel like somebody tuned it and it runs all right. They also said it was fully smog deleted, but the air pump is 100% on this thing. So we've got uh, power steering, AC compressor, alternator, and underneath that, of course, is that old piece of junk air pump that robs three to five horsepower. And it still looks like the lines are hooked up to it too. So I don't think anything was deleted. Uh, factory air car, as you would expect with the climate control, it does not work. The blower motor runs, but the air is not cold. Uh, there's the vacuum operated wipers right there. There are wires going into it though. It must use those to park or something like that. A lot of vacuum hooked up to that thing. And uh, vacuum cruise control over there too, even though that's got an electric motor. Everything has an electric motor, but also vacuum lines hooked up to it. Super interesting, but the stuff does work. So that is the car underneath it, of course, all that Fox Red Tech suspension. Let's get this thing over to the other side and clean it up. Like I said, we were putting a new battery in this thing. So we've got the Super Start 27 Premium. And the most interesting thing in the world, I was like, how on earth do you get the battery out of this thing? So we're trying to get this beat old battery out. And if you look, there's a battery hold down, but there's like no way to get it out. It is definitely in there and won't move. It's tough to see. But anyway, the secret to this thing is that lever right there. You push in on this lever, slide it over, maybe. Oh, there's even a lock bolt. There is a lock bolt for the lever. So we gotta unscrew that, and then we can push this down. All right, I got around it. I figured if I push sideways. All right, now that's flipped up, and we should be able to get the old junker out of here. Ah. In with the new battery. I think you're gonna have to go in and ang well. It probably does need an ang well because you have to kind of rock the back end and then set the front end and then hit that lock. The red LEDs actually work really well on this because they work with that candy apple red top. And of course they work great because we got that brand new battery in there. Start it up. Hey. That's the best it started so far. It was struggling. All right, we got this monster cleaned up. That took absolutely forever. There's a lot of surface area on these old Cadillacs, and I think we've got the air all set up to take this thing cruising, and honestly, that's all that matters today. You guys have seen everything that matters in the car, the big block, that V8 power, the air ride, the crazy shifter, the really good condition interior for what it is. Let's get it out on the road and see what it looks like. All we know is it turns a lot of heads. Just trailering this thing back got nods that nonstop the whole way home. So that is Kyle's new Lowrider Boulevard Cruiser. I love it, I hope you guys love it too. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you would do the same thing. Um, I know everybody has their own twist uh, kind of style to put on Lowriders, but I think this one is about perfect. 
So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjr.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Also, I think this thing's going to be back on the channel shortly for some cool upgrades. You guys already know what we're going to do, but it looks epic.